Hi, I'm Tami, and with this video I'm going to show how to manage fixed assets in your play counting. Uh, to insert any fixed asset, you, you would just need to add a, a purchase invoice for this. Uh, if you are importing data, let's say we would uh, li like to start using Elp Accounting and would like to import our existing fixed assets, we can just add uh, add one separate purchase invoice for this. So I will add the vendor name, the Elp Demo, which is the organization name I'm using. I will add the invoice number, and that, as I'm starting using from the 13th of uh, September, I will also change the date to the 13th of September. Now we can add a separate row for all of the fixed assets if we, uh, what we have, but if you have the list in your uh, Excel, you can just cop, uh, import them. Let's say we have iPad, chairs, tables and iMac. Uh, the, uh, we bought iPad uh, with $150. Uh, the, the value uh, on 13th of September was 400 and the depreciation uh, value thus is uh, 550 minus 400 is 150. What we can do for importing, we can just import uh, the names, uh, we can copy them here with Ctrl or Command V. We can also then copy the purchase price, and I will have to change the uh, tax to tax free. After that, we uh, have saved the uh, which is uh, uh, fixed assets, we would like to also pay the invoice because otherwise it will uh, leave uh, unpaid for the rest of the time. So I will change the date to the 13th of September and after I have imported fixed assets, I have imported uh, customer and suppliers initial balances and then I will uh, correct the uh, account balances uh, and then I will insert the account balances and then uh, the balance of this account that I added the payment will be correct also. Okay, now how to uh, add the depreciation values of the 13th of September. We will have to go to the calculate depreciation. I will change the date to the 13th of September. And I will just uh, add the depreciation value to, to every uh, fixed asset we have. As we can see, 150, 400, 400, and 100. Okay, we have added it and we can save it. Now let's assume that we bought um, um, a sofa uh, on October uh, and we would like to add it as a fixed asset. So, uh, who provided it, it was furniture supplier. Uh, the date was, let's assume it was 7th of October. And we would like to add a sofa here. Let's say it was 100 and uh, 1500. And uh, no tax for this. And uh, now we would like to uh, manage depreciation of uh, all of the October. This, this inc includes the sofa and all the other uh, fixed assets we have. Airplay, uh, when opening the depreciation uh, feature, Airplay Counting gives you the list of your uh, uh, fixed assets and now you can uh, manage the depreciation by month or by year. Automatically Airplay Counting assumes that the life uh, time of a fixed asset is 5 years, thus 60 months. If you if all of the uh, if every item uh, lasts uh, less, let's say four years, we can just change it to forty-eight. Or if you, if you would like to manage it only once a year, we can change it to four. Right, right now, uh, I'm saying that all of these items will last four years. If if anything lasts less or more, you can change it from here. I will also change the date to the thirty-first of October and depreciation value is calculated automatically. Now if we would like to see uh, these uh, depreciation uh, transactions, we have to go to accounting and take transactions. We can search now uh, depreciation transactions and we have uh, nine transactions here as we added them. Also I would like to see that on the 13th of uh, September, 
our depreciation value should be when I calculate it from here we can see it should be 1050 let's check it out let's go to accounting take the balance sheet uh, and change it to change the two date to 13 of September yes it's 1050 as it should be now where we can see these uh, depreciation transactions also is reports and article reports and we can take the inventory articles that uh, we call them inventory articles and we can see these also from here and if you would like to search uh, purchase fixed assets we can uh, take the purchase reports and uh, asset article type as fixed asset that's quite much about it if you have any questions about fixed assets uh, uh, let us know accounting.software at airplay.com uh, if you still don't have an airplay accounting account just go to accounting.derby.com and sign up. And uh, I, I thank you for watching this video. Bye.